70% of our planet is covered by water. We know more about the surface of Mars than we do the floor of the Mariana Trench. Down there, in the dark, lie the answers to our greatest mysteries. Sunken civilizations, unknown forms of life, the geological scars of our planet. What if we could see it all, right now? Welcome to Hypothesis Division. Today, our hypothesis. What would happen if all the Earth's oceans suddenly disappeared? But only for 10 minutes. In an instant, all 1.3 billion cubic kilometers of water vanish. The first thing the planet notices isn't the sound, it's the fall. Every ship, every boat, every aircraft carrier in the world is now in freefall. They are plummeting hundreds of meters, some for kilometers, smashing onto the newly exposed seabed that was, just a moment ago, the deep ocean. But that isn't the greatest tragedy. The greatest tragedy is biological. 90% of all life on Earth lives in the ocean. And in a single second, all of it, the whales, the dolphins, the fish, the crabs, they are all lying on the bottom, suffocating on the wet silt. This is the single greatest mass extinction event in history. On land, atmospheric pressure plummets. Air from the continents rushes into the empty basins, creating hurricane force winds that tear towards the sea. But we don't have time to watch. We have just 10 minutes to explore, and Hypothesis Division is heading into the chasm. For the first time, we are seeing the true face of our planet. The Mariana Trench is no longer a trench. It is the deepest 11-kilometer canyon on Earth, steam billowing from geothermal vents. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is no longer underwater. It is the longest mountain chain on the planet, stretching across the entire globe. And we find our history, all of it, Thousands of shipwrecks, Spanish galleons, German U-boats, the Titanic. All of them now resting on a vast, silty plain, fully exposed on dry land. What about the myths? Atlantis. We see strange, geometrically perfect patterns on the chasm floor. Are they natural? Or are they not? We don't have time to find out. But we also find something worse. We find our own monsters. For decades, we've used the ocean as a dumping ground. And now, all of it, nuclear waste, chemical weapons, lies exposed to the open air. We have one minute left. It's time to get back to high ground. Because the worst is yet to come. The water returns, but how does it return? It doesn't flow back. It reappears all at once, right where it was. 1.3 billion cubic kilometers of water materializing in an instant. But now, it's in free fall. This fall creates a rebound effect, a planetary ricochet as this unimaginable mass of water strikes the chasm floor, it creates a global, simultaneous, mega tsunami. This isn't a wave that floods a coastline. This is a wave that obliterates civilization. It surges inland for hundreds of kilometers, scouring cities from the face of the earth like paint. In 10 minutes, we uncovered the planet's mysteries. On the 11th, the planet erased us. The Great Draining is, of course, just a hypothesis. But it shows us one crucial thing. The ocean isn't just water. It's the blanket that guards our secrets. It's the shield that protects us from our planet's inner heat. And it's the giant stabilizer that protects us from ourselves. Sometimes, to truly understand how important something is, you just have to imagine it's gone. 
What hypothesis should the division investigate next? Let us know in the comments.